Hi, my name is Rick Cameron and I'm a COVID-19 survivor. Uh, I'm from Stellar, Nova Scotia. Um, I worked at Michelin for 40, 41 years. I'm now retired. Uh, my main interests were coaching hockey, uh, playing golf, and uh, doing woodwork projects around the house. Um, the symptoms leading up to my hospitalization were um, a high fever, a bad cough. I was having a real difficult time breathing and we had to call the ambulance and take me to emergency and it just progressed from there. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a tough grind for my family. There were some really scary moments for them. Uh, from the time I went to the COVID ward, they, um, they put me in a, in a, in a coma uh, the, the first night that I was there and I never saw my family for 60 some days I think and during that time the nurses did set up an iPad on a table beside my bed so that my wife and, and my kids could talk to me uh, but I don't have any memory of that my recovery has been uh, good it was a lot of hard work when I first woke up in May I couldn't I couldn't hold my head up off the pillow, and uh, I had a I had a feeding tube in, and and uh, I was extremely extremely weak. And over time, the physio worked with me, and I had to do exercises, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, according to all the people who were looking after me, I was making uh, really good gains every day. So uh, from that point, I guess I've gotten back to some semblance of normalcy quick, quicker than what most people thought I would. Uh, I think supporting local health research is important because this disease pretty near killed me and it has, it has caused the death of others. Um, I want to thank all of those who donated to the Dalmed research uh, on the COVID-19 because I think it's extremely important. Um, to find a solution to this problem. It's it's killed a lot of people. It made me very, very sick. Um, and the sooner we find that, a way to get around that, the better off the world's gonna be because the world has changed since COVID came.